Welcome to another cooking demo with the Yum Yum Yogi. The Yogi requested some soups with sweet potato because she heard that sweet potato was one of the 10 best things to eat. This soup is made with three simple ingredients, sweet potato, fresh basil, and celery. But before we cook, let's hold this thought while cooking. I make the impossible possible by allowing the wings of my dreams to guide my heart and the depth of my experience to guide my head. Because holding thoughts such as these vibrationally changes the food and this food affects our minds and bodies. For this recipe, we need two medium sweet potatoes, peel and chop into one inch cubes. We get about two cups of sweet potato, chopped sweet potato. Take a bunch of celery, one bunch of celery, and take the top tail off and chop against the grain, against the fibers. We get about six cups of chopped celery from one bunch of celery. Take one tablespoon of oil in a saucepan, heat it on medium high, add the chopped celery and saute for about three or four minutes. We brown it a little bit and then we add about five to six bay leaves and one fourth of a teaspoon pepper or to taste, one teaspoon salt and mix thoroughly. Now add the two cups of sweet chopped sweet potato and mix and to this add six cups of cold water. Mix thoroughly, cover and let cook for about 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, check for doneness. A, when you insert a fork in the sweet potato, it should go through really clean, like you're seeing on the screen. Now transfer the soup to a stainless steel bowl Pick out the bay leaves, add one fourth cup fresh basil and take a hand blender and blend. If you want the soup to be a little runnier, you can add a little bit more water here. For me, this was enough. It smells so wonderful and it's so healthy for you. This is a classic celery soup with a slight variation with sweet potato and here we have amazingly wonderfully tasting sweet potato soup but before we eat it remember to hold this thought for the self for the planet I make the impossible possible by allowing the wings of my dreams to guide my heart and the depth of my experience to guide my head